the Mayan calendar that says that December 31st, 2012 is the end of the world, it's kind of a hoax because we're giving too much credibility to the Mayans. Um, there, in other words, I don't see what the Mayans have to say that would be so credible. The Mayans were pagans. They were not serving the God that the Western world serves. Okay, So the devil doesn't know anything about the end of the world or whatever. Now, he may give an intimation because he is behind the agenda of the world and he could generally give an idea as to what's going to happen, but he, he doesn't know God's mind. Now, B.C., when it came into A.D., um, and Jesus is the one that was the pivot, Jesus said that the angels in heaven, nor he did know the end, the time of the end of the world or the time of his return. So that how the Mayans before that could have known when his return was. Um, I guess because he was a human being and he genuinely was not officially operating on the God level that he could have not known. Um, but by now, I'm sure he knows and the angels probably have a clue as to what's happening. The Godhead knows the time and, and those are the only um, beings that have credible understanding. Now, they're saying that this calendar that predicts December 31st, 2012 began in August 11th, 3,140 years before Christ. Now, this is, I don't understand how this could be because with that 31, 14 plus 20, 12, we come in something like 5,000 years plus. And we had a flood after that so that the Mayans were not in existence that long. Okay? Now, these Native Indian peoples in the Americas here are not necessarily original peoples. They were Asians who migrated across the Bering Straits and came into this hemisphere and perhaps predated the Europeans um, so that they uh, are saying that they're the original peoples. But so long ago, we had the flood before that. I mean, after that time. So, and the world had not developed to the extent where people had distributed all over the world. So it's a couple thousand years after the flood, that, or, or years after the flood, that people began to migrate across the Barren Straits from Asia over the mountains and came over to uh, North America and went into uh, South and Central America. But the primary thing we need to understand here, these, these, these Mayans were pagans. And as such, the satanic rituals and so forth, they can know God's mind. They're just like the prophets of Baal. Now, we have, of course, Jesus saying that we will know the time of the end and that there will be wars and famines and various other calamities and so on. So that by these things are happening, wars and rumors of wars, we know that we're in a special period here. We're in something before the end of time. But he went on to say that if a thief is coming to break into your house, he will not announce when he's coming. Many people are planning mass suicides and they plan to kill themselves and, and do a whole bunch of destruction. People plan to borrow a whole bunch of money uh, beyond 2012 so that they won't have to pay it, etc. And I, I don't think necessarily the end of the world is them. There are so many things yet to happen that were signs of the times or end of time situations that the, the Antichrist needs to come to power um, and other things need to happen. And so it's going to take a little time yet before these things to happen. Now, the end of time, the Bible speaks about it. Jesus says he's going to return to divide the world into sheep and goat. In other words, those who followed him, the righteous people are going to be on one side, and the evil people are going to be on the side, and then he's going to destroy the evil ones. And the ones who survive are going to go away with him to heaven and come back after a thousand years and inhabit this earth. But as I had said in other videos, that the whole reason why man was created, man was created 
to replace the fallen angels, Lucifer and his host. And their numbers would have increased. And when they reached the number that God wanted, he would have stopped the whole multiplication. We would have become sort of immortal and become angels. But because Adam and Eve failed, he went ahead and created a new sphere, a new world, and I'm sure that they have reached the number, and so his complement in heaven is completed. So, that is Mayan 2012. I, I think the whole purpose of it, however, is not that necessarily. Now, as you said, if the thief knew and if the, the, the homeowner knew and the thief was coming, he would be pre prepared. But if a thief tells somebody, look, I'm coming, what would they do? Would they prepare? Would they arm up? Would they uh, fortify the place? Or are they going to go and commit suicide or, or run away and say, the thief is coming, and, you know, let me get out of here. And so, in saying that 2012, December 3rd, first, the end of the world, you'd expect people will try to find out, like, how to be prepared to go with beyond the end of the world, which is the whole idea here. But people are not projecting beyond that. They're just thinking that this is the end of it. And this is Satan's plan, basically. I think 2012 has nothing to do with anything righteous. I don't think anything is going to happen, as a matter of fact. Now, we have a, a prophet, so-called prophet here in Oakland, California. His name is um, Campion. He had predicted that Christ would come in the 90s. It didn't happen. Now, he's saying it's going to be sometime again, 2011 or or 2012, something around there. So all these false people, false prophets, and all they're doing is creating worry in people's minds because at this point in time, Halloween and other forms of the occult are so prevalent, and so many people involved in it, that the whole point is for them to become hopeless, commit uh, various heinous acts on themselves and others, and this is the whole purpose of this uh, fad and this lying prophecy. So the wise will get smart and check the word of God and see and get ready in the way he says that we should get ready so that when he comes as a thief in the night, not 2012, he hasn't announced it, nobody will know, he will just decide to come. We'll be ready to, um, you know, go with him and not necessarily be worrying unnecessarily here and looking forward to some um, facade or some mirage or, or a, non, a non issue. And I, and you know what? People are going to create problems that may look as if 2012 is it. I, I see maybe Palin is going to win <laughs> something, come back again, get a good talk show, make you some more money. I, I, I think this thing is just a big hoax.